you have to have a consistent rhythm to be a great golfer. You look at different golfers, they have different rhythms. You look at myself, I have a fast rhythm. Uh, Nick Price. Patrick Harrington. Then you look at Ernie Els and Fred Couples. They have very slow rhythms. The best rhythm I probably ever saw was Sam Snead. He had a rhythm that he called oily. He wanted to have his, his swing nice and oily. Remember, light grip pressure. Light grip, grip pressure was the key. Sam, was, he took that long waggle like that and turned his head. Nice, smooth rhythm. Usually a very good success. I have another idea, and I've learned this from a friend who sent me by letter a long time ago. He said, rhythm can be defined as thinking of the word Edelweiss in your golf swing. Now, Edelweiss sounds kind of goofy, but really, if you think about it, everybody has a certain rhythm to their golf swing. Now, if I'm taking a, a cut at the golf ball and I swing Edelweiss like that, that's my rhythm. Now, some people's Edelweiss may be faster or slower than my Edelweiss, but I like the term Edelweiss because it gives you a rhythm with which you can swing the golf club consistently. Edelweiss could be Edelweiss. It could be Edelweiss. Now sometimes Edelweiss doesn't work. Sometimes you have to go to extreme measures. Those measures have to do with the feel of the golf club. Sometimes we just simply lose the feel of the golf club. A lot of that has to do with grip pressure. We're gripping on too tight or we're walking too fast. One of the great stories of that uh, I share with, about Byron Nelson. Byron said when he got under pressure, he always walked too fast. And he said, Tom, do two things. Walk a little slower and breathe a little deeper. But there's another thing you can do. When the heat's on, the club doesn't feel like there's anything in your hand, do this. Take the club, and instead of taking the club and swinging it with the, that end of it on, turn it over and swing the club with just the grip end. Now, if you're really in bad shape, you're going, you're going to go like that because it's so light that you can't control the impact area. Remember, coming back to the impact, go back, swing it nice and slow, nice and slow like this, three or four times. Then, turn it over. Now the club head feels like it's a ton. Now, light grip pressure, take a couple of practice swings with it. Man, that feels like it's... Now I can feel the club head. And the last thing I want to share is how hard should you swing the golf club? The key here is how hard you should swing the golf club and keep it in rhythm. Some players can feel like they can swing it close to 90 to 95% and keep it in rhythm. Other people, they lose their balance just a little bit, so they shouldn't go quite that hard. But as a general rule, I like to say, swing about 90 to 95 percent when you feel like you're in good balance with your driver, and with your other clubs, maybe 85 and 90 percent. You can create a good rhythmic type of golf swing if you keep it, keep it under control. Put a little bit of a governor on it so you don't always want to try to hit the ball as hard as you can.